All right, you guys, I'm at the Makita booth and I'm with Eric. We're gonna be walking around and showing you all the latest and greatest tools and equipment at the world of concrete. We're gonna start right inside here. I'm not a pain in the butt or nothing. This is the smallest jackhammer, but also dust control built in. But then we're gonna be looking at a lot of really cool heavy equipment, heavy gear, heavy stuff that you guys will like. Fixed it up to this. Yep, it's basically remanufactured. Okay, guys, we're looking at a giant truck lip that my wife is going to explain better than I can. I said I have no idea. This has a variable digging depth. Are we on? Guys, come inside. Cat 440. Just like that. This is so cool. This is awesome. We're at the case booth. And we're looking at a brand new Kubota. All right, you guys, this is the Deuce Hab rotating. And you've got a digger blade and a 19,000 pound excavator. Oh, and this thing climbing stairs right here. What are we waiting for? Oh, this is my buddy Eric. I'm bad at that. I'm bad at it. <laughs> I'm poor. I it's all good. You know what, Eric? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Eric Ritter, Key to Power Tools. We're going to show you today how we can take your job site and go completely cordless. Let's go take a look. All right. And I'm Stan the Dirt Monkey. I've, <laughs> I've never actually introduced myself on my own channel ever. So all right, now let's do it. Okay, so one of the, what we're looking at right now, this is the built-in dust extractor. So you've got a built-in vacuum, you've got an external vacuum, and now you've also got a backpack vacuum. Yeah, so it's really all about how many holes am I drilling. I've got a few holes to do, a little touch there. We got this fall extractor. You got a good way of saying that one, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> now, does this, does this multi-platform system work on some of the other of your jackhammers, or has it gotten there yet? It's a new system. Uh, we're, we're the family's growing. Right now we're about nine tools running our auto start wireless system. We can we see that continuing to grow. Okay, that's what I see. We did that because as more and more job sites become cordless, run time on your extractor becomes an issue. Right. So it's Bluetooth connected. As Absolutely. soon as the tool's off, it does a, a two or three second delay. Please cleans the line. That's exactly right. Cleans the line and then it's on, then it shuts off. Shuts off and then turns back on back when I need it. No. here is a 36 volt purpose-built brushless motor running off two 18 volts. So it's not interchangeable with the gas. Okay, oh wait, but the head is. Hey, how about it? that? That's right. Quick switch, push a button. Now I can actually choose my power. Use the same adapter, same accessories, whether I want to run gas, four-stroke gasoline, or 
cordless. That's what I was getting at. Eric, how much run time will you get on a set of batteries? Running a power head like this, because if these guys are going to go out, are they going to get 20 solid minutes out of one of them? Oh, no doubt. Absolutely. Okay, which is actually saying a lot for a set of batteries, right? And again, at 45 minute charge time, you're not out working your charge. Okay. What we're looking at is actually a 22,000 pound? 22,447 pounds. Mini excavator. Operating weight, yes. So why, so tell me the difference between a mini excavator and an excavator then. It's uh, really how we just uh, separate the size classes within the hydraulic excavator family. Okay. We would actually can segregate further and, and have what we call a micro excavator that would go up to a three metric ton. And so this is a micro excavator over here. So this one is brand spanking new this year. And so are those other two models. So this is a micro. So there's the micro right there. And then this is also a brand new one right here. It's called our next generation of mini excavators and uh, something that we have been working on for several years now and we have used a lot of customer feedback to help us develop with some industry first features. Can you show, can you tell me in the less than 30 seconds what those are? Yes, absolutely. We got a lot of things to Stick cover. steer. You don't need those levers anymore to travel around your job site. You have all your controls on your left hand side. Cruise control with the push of a button that excavator can travel around that job site without you having to interfere. Uh, even on the micro excavator. Even on the micro excavator, you can Shut do exactly up. that. No sticks to drive with. No sticks to drive. Integrated into the controls. If you look at that machine, we don't have the sticks in there. Okay, so let's go look at this machine. Okay, so yeah, there's two giants. I see you got the stick hole. Something is missing. So you something's missing from the stick hole. You still would get it from factory, you get the full package, but if you desire to take it off, all the controls that you need are right here on your left hand side with a push of a button. Oh, wow, okay. I, I'm, I'm trying to... Well, how do you control it then? What's the control pad? Well, um, happy to show you. What if, I mean, like, what if you're an old backhoe operator and you want to, because I'm an old backhoe operator, and I want this to be in backhoe mode, can we still get that? Absolutely. So, if you get your normal excavation mode with your joysticks the way you're used to, the moment you get into the stick steer mode, that's when this left joystick becomes your travel forward, reverse. How do you get into stick steer mode? That yellow button right there. So, a big yellow button. It's not quite as cool as a big red button, but hey, so just one click skips, st sticks to your mode. Another click, you're off of it. You're excavating the way that you're used to. Oh, dude, that now, is pretty cool. If you want, let's say you want some help from your boom and stick as you're trying to reposition your machine. Yeah. So you want to retain control of a boom and stick and bucket while you are in sticks to your mode. No problem. One click of a button on this side, on this right-hand joystick. And this is your bucket, just like you're used to. Yeah. This is your boom, just like you're used to. And now this roller becomes your stick. Oh, 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 so what okay. he's saying, guys, just to clarify, a lot of times when you're out operating, you actually use your boom arm to position the whole body of this the excavator <laughs> over to maneuver it around. And so you can't do it if this one is now doing the joke, but now you've got, they've, they've compensated for that. Interesting, and that's on all of these different categories. Right now, between the one ton and two ton size models, and then from the eight ton to the 10 ton models are on this next one. All right, go check it out, guys. That's, uh, that's the Cat Micro Excavator, the Cat uh, Mini Excavator, and that's it. I don't know, what else? We got more cool stuff to see, thank you. Appreciate your time. All right, JR, and now, on to the next one, you guys. We're actually looking at anti-vibration. This is the smallest jackhammer, but also dust control built in. Let's go, let's show them how it works. Alright you guys.
guys, what we're looking at is the Gale. It's got a 14 foot reach. It's also got crab walk. So it's got all wheel steering. Yellow uh, back. It's brand new this year. All right, you guys, here's John Deere's payload of the JD 544 from 50 years ago. Why, look at all the times it changed, you guys. So this one, they've restored it, but check out, it's, I don't know, Big Brother, right next door to it. Isn't that funny? What a difference, you guys. No tracks is good, they're gonna, they'll take care. All right, you guys, this is the Doosan DX140 LCR. This is a 37,000 pound machine. This is runs at about 100 and what is it, 65 horsepower? 115 horsepower, okay, so we are over the def regulation, so you do have to add it. Actually, they've uh, done the after treatment up on the top of the machine here. One of the interesting things that they've got is this is at, for a 37,000 pound excavator, this is actually a rubber track system. This is optional, so you guys can equip it with rubber tracks or you can equip it with your standard steel tracks, whichever you choose, whatever your application is. Zero tail swing model. This, this uh, particular unit is outfitted for demolition. You don't have to have the exterior cage on it, of course, but Doosan, uh, they really are making a name for themselves in the industry. What do you think of it? Nice. Yeah? Why? Light. Cut quick. You guys, come inside. Cat 440. I'm like, oh, you guys got anything cool here? And they're like, oh, you might like this. I'm an old TLB operator. The controls are integrated into the seat. This. This, guys, this is the coolest thing since they started slicing bread. Look at this, look at this. The entire control panel goes with me. I feel like a freaking king. Look at this thing. So it's two, two levers, pull them up, your entire control panel slides with you. You know how many times, this is how I've operated my backhoe, seats forward, I'm too lazy to switch it around, I'm over here doing this, then I'll switch over here and I'll drive. Then I'll put my riggers down and I'll operate like this because I just got to pick something up. Just like that. This is so cool. This is awesome, you guys. This is a quick connect system, right? Yeah. So this will run a tilt rotator of any. Uh, yep. Yeah. Well, we can run. You can install the tilt rotator software. And so this is the oil quick system. So really, what you're looking at is the way how fast this thing will connect up into any one of your attachments. Yeah. This this system has been running on demonstration for two years straight now, and we've never even changed uh, a, a seal or done anything on it. So. so this is pretty damn cool. And that's a dedicated unit, right? Yes, sir. This is made for concrete servicing, all doing it dust free.
Look at that truck. Wow, Stone Slinger. God, it's just blacked out. It's just amazing. It's just cool. So that's the XCT16. It's our new impact driver coming out in February. We have our, our assist mode on it, which we introduced a couple years ago on another tool. It's going to start the fast route slow and then drive it. We have our auto stop mode, which we introduced on an impact wrench. And that's going to just stop on its own when I get the faster to a certain point. That allows you to take it off without losing it. We have our tech mode, which are made for uh, different thicknesses, different gauges and materials. So this is tech mode one. Once it senses the impact, it's just gonna stop on its own. And then I have tech mode two, which is for heavier gauge materials. Same thing, once it senses the impact, it's gonna slow down the impact instead of stopping. That's the XP16. You know that they're all synced together? Mm, that makes sense. Do you know where I learned that from? Saying if you lift one side of the truck up, it'll fall. No, do you know who taught me that? No. Dan from Tools in Action. He was walking by and he's like, hey man, that's, a, that's called Earthlink. They're all synced together. It'll do this, 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 this. And I'm like, trying to wow, take he notes. He does. He actually, I'll be honest with you guys, he knows a lot about a lot of stuff. He doesn't give himself credit for any of it. We're looking at a giant truck lift that my wife is going to explain better than I can. I said I have no idea. It's lifted off the ground. <laughs> and that's about what I would say. But it is dang cool. That is cool. You don't often see a giant concrete pump truck with guys just casually standing underneath it talking. So these uh, earth lifts actually are mobile. So you can actually take them out and you can... Uh, they're actually all synced together, that's, so that's one of the things I know. They're all synced together, so as you're lifting one, it'll lift the entire truck evenly. I'm not really sure where this is applicable because I've never seen this before in my life, you guys. All right, guys, so this is a Bobcat excavator. The Bobcat brand has been uh, historically uh, reliable, dependable. Great, I would consider it to be almost like a mid-level brand coming into the industry because they've kind of got the, a lot of good dependability without a high price point that you get for it. Now this is a 19,000 pound excavator. It runs off 65 horsepower and you can see the accessibility that you've got. Everything flips up. You've got complete access to everything in here. There's nothing hidden. There's nothing that you're digging for. You don't have to be a gymnast to service this thing. You can come in here and you can gain access to every Every major component plus it's also a zero tail swing unit so you can see that you've got minimal extrusion that over the tracks so this really is where your zero tail swing becomes the most important as you operate the machine and you go to turn it if you're not cognizant of where your big fat booty is you're gonna be rubbing trees you're gonna be rubbing houses you're gonna be rubbing your booty on things you don't want your booty to be rubbed on that's where a zero tail swing unit comes in real handy a nice operator cab you can crawl up in here you can see that everything is laid out real well. Standard safety designs that they've got with the handle incorporated into it. Now this also has an offset boom system, you guys. Offset boom system means that the boom will swing side to side besides the whole cab rotating. And you've got a digger blade and a 19,000 pound excavator, which comes in pretty darn handy. This is the Bobcat, you guys. 65 horsepower, 19,000 pound excavator. This really isn't a tool. What we have here is a time machine. Because that's what we're saving is time. We're literally taking time, putting it in your hands. We all understand the time and labor and how intensive it is to do these rebar ties by hand. So we're doing three wraps, twists, and a cut in 0.8 seconds. Pretty fast. But you know what happens when you go fast? You want to go faster. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go from sequential to now I'm going to operate in bump fire. What I'm going to do is hit this actuator up top. It's going to let it know to go. So I'm going to pull the trigger. Fast, fast, and faster. That's what we're all about. Getting that speed. Now, what if I need to change the tension? Well, I can do that with my digital touchpad. No more dials up here, nothing to deal with. Digital touchpad, change that tension, I can get that rebar nice and tight. What we're doing here is we're offering 5,300 ties on a single charge. That's a lot of work to do 
on a five amp hour battery that only takes 45 minutes to charge. All right guys, we're looking at an Alsa. This actually is a side dumper. This is a four cubic yard material handling bucket. But this thing will also uh, rotate 360 degrees around. Now you guys, you don't see these a lot on American job sites, but you probably are going to. This is more common overseas, but the configuration that these have is not just a, a side dumper configuration. We actually have some versatility here. We can actually come over and you can dump, forward dump with some of these units as well. So you got your forward configuration or your side dump configuration here, depending on what your needs are. Alright you guys, we're looking at a brand new Kubota SVL652. This is actually the first year that this particular unit's ever been on the market. But John here knows a lot more about this machine than I do. John, can you tell me what's new about this piece of equipment? This is completely new for Kubota. Okay. Uh, previously our 75 was the smallest machine. This is the 75 the right here. Okay, so this is the smaller version of that machine? It's, uh, yeah, there's some other changes made to it, but really it's to get to a lighter machine with a lighter footprint, lower cab height, shorter front to back. So many of these guys Did are working Did you compromise on the space on the, in the inside of that cab? So that's a great question. Uh, the space inside the cab, the structure itself is the same. All right, so you're a big guy. What do you think of this cab? Yeah, okay. So Kubota has an interesting door system. I've seen this on other doors. Have you ever seen the Kubota door system before? Yeah. All right, will you flip that down for me? See how, nope, nope. Yep, grab the handles, nope, thumb latches right above you. There you go. So that's how that works. So now as you're in there, did you notice that we sound a lot different? Yeah, so it's a lot quieter in there, isn't it? So one of the things I noticed as soon as I crawled in that cab, you guys, was it's almost like it reduces the, uh, the decimals probably by 15, maybe 20, right? Because I put on those noise reducing headphones and I'm like, shink. And that's what that cab kind of felt like. Did you do anything with that cab to do that? Uh, the cab is sealed and pressurized. Uh, so it, okay. it, it positive will reduce, pressure. No, yes, positive pressure. So you're blowing your dust out? Yes. Okay, so that's important thing. So what I mean here, guys, if that's a sealed pressurized cab, when you seal it and then you put positive pressure on it, instead of it collecting dust inside, it's continually blowing the dust out yeah. of the cab. Besides the size and weight difference, oh. the biggest thing on this that I think is exciting, we changed the hydraulic valve. So now it's a parallel series valve. So if we want to, say we've got a form one bucket on this one. Yeah. If we want to raise the boom, curl the bucket, open the form one, we can do it all at once in one smooth motion. Without one drawing down off from the other? Correct. Because of that parallel valve instead of a series valve. Okay, I was going to say, you've got, you, so you're still running off from one hydraulic pump? Yes. So you're not doing multiple pumps, so right. you have, so you have a, just a different valve platform. So the point with not having multiple pumps, you guys, is, is when you have multiple pumps, you have multiple problems. But one goes out when your machine is down. If you've got one main pump, and yep. you're just changing the the the, yeah. the valve changing configuration. Of that pump. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. This is the Kubota SVL 65-2. It's coming this year. April and your dealers. April and your dealers. I don't know how it works on a job site, you guys, but Kubota historically has always been a very rock solid name brand. Maybe someday I'll get to try one out. Complete battery power. Nice. How many cuts can you make with that? Depending on the metal? Just depends, really, what you're cutting. Standard rebar like that. Anywhere from 80 to 120. This is what I like here, right here. Quick release for wheel replacement. 14 inch. This is Connor from Cement Tech. And what is the, what is the latest and greatest tools and innovations from the world of concrete without a cement truck? Now this cement truck's a little different because you can literally mix any quantity on demand and change spec from one job to the next job. So the slurry, it doesn't come as a pre-mixed slurry. Your operator can sit up in the control cab and figure out what he wants to do from one to the next. You can pour essentially whatever type of concrete you want 
in different batches, all out of the same the same group of raw material. So the same sand, same aggregate. As long as you can, as long as that fits into your mix design, you have the flexibility to do it. Here's how it's done. It's not pre-mixed. So you've got your water tank up front, you guys. This compartment right here, this is for sand. This compartment on the other side is for stone. Stone. The aggregate, yep. And then your dry powder is actually back here. Yep. So you got your cement powder there. And then coming off the back end is a, is a mixed bowl, so all the raw ingredients drop into there, your sand, cement, um, water, add mixes. They hit our mix auger, which spins at about 300 RPM. And out the bottom of that chute, you can see right down there, is where the concrete drops. So, so this, this is so is this, this is where the, it mixed? Yep, this is the mix bowl where everything drops in, and then it hits this, it hits this auger right here. And this auger spins at about 300 revolutions per minute, blends the concrete, all those ingredients into concrete. Okay, so, and then typically this would be... Yeah, this would be closed. Yep. So, okay, so this would typically be... And then by the time it hits the exit chute, you've got a finalized finished product. You absolutely have concrete that will drop right onto the chute there. Okay, and so then he needs two yards at one side with a certain mix? Yep, so if you're, let's say you're pouring two yards of a 3,000 PSI sidewalk, you can do that, and then at, at the same location, if you want to do 5,000 PSI road, you can do that as well. That's all with the same ingredients. All from one truck. All from that's, one truck. That's awesome. Cement Tech? Cement Tech, we're out of Indianola, Iowa. There you go, you guys. So now let's go check out some more cool stuff. Thanks, Connor, appreciate Thank it. Thank you. And let's go see the next latest thing, man. All right, so this is a rebar cutter, go for it. That does it well, doesn't yeah. it? Holy crap! All right, what is what the heck is this thing? Oh yeah, you bet. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. This is all a brand new system. And this is and you're on Instagram. Who are you guys? Eco e Ecovolve e as well, and e and Eco Equipment here in the U.S. Eco Equipment in the U.S. Okay, go. Hey guys, so this is called the Evolve. It's actually the battery operating we are inside right now. We can run it inside with no gas or fuel. Now this actually has an integrated dump unit into it. So it shows how this is done. <laughs> Does he sound a wee bit Irish? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So I'm with my buddy John. He's actually hiding behind the sign. This is a pre, this certified pre-owned. Yep. So what does this, that mean? This trench roller certified pre-owned. So our, our dealers are going through a process of uh, certifying used machines. So we're gonna roll them out. Uh, with low hours, re redo, uh, you know, do some paint, touch them up, um, go through a multi-point inspection on the machines. This has 400. This trench roller that you're looking at has 452 hours on it. So we're doing certified pre-owned on skid steer loaders, compact track loaders, mini Wait excavators, so wheel this, loaders. This is that machine before. Yep. And then you guys fixed it up to this. Yep. It's basically remanufactured. We back it with some additional warranty. It gives you peace of mind. It allows you to get into a piece of equipment without uh, without having to buy new. Okay, so if you guys aren't in the market for new, this is a great option. So they can go on your website and find certified pre-owned. Go on our website, look for certified pre-owned. Find our dealers, look for certified pre-owned. Okay. Uh, we just launched it uh, yesterday at World of Concrete. <laughs> that's, that's really new. Well, uh, also one of the things that I want to talk about, you guys may have seen this in another video or may not have, but the Wacker Nissan or Nissan? Noisen. Noisen. Wacker Noisen. Well, when they figure out how to make their name pronounceable. <laughs> Um, has I think probably the best 
skid loader warranty in the market, period. Like it, for a new skid loader? It is. Our, our, our medium frame and series two large frame loaders have a three, four, five warranty. So it's three years full machine, four years, 4,000 on the Kohler diesel engine, and five years electrical, which includes joysticks and switches. So you telling me on a, on a mini excavator or a skid loader. That's the skid steer warranty program. That's the skid steer. Yep. You got 3,000 hours of warranty, full coverage. Three years. Anything breaks on it at all? The, the warranty details are, are on the website, but uh, it's 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 your it's a standard three year, three thousand full machine coverage. Full machine coverage. Okay, that was. I mean, I don't know. Maybe some of the other companies are doing it, and I don't know, but I don't think they are. I'm, that's nuts. That's nuts. this before too Stan at GIE. I, did, Just, I, I saw this at uh, Landscape Show but let's show these guys the access. Guys you can almost crawl into the I mean I love this. I, sh I showed this on another one but let's just show this again. This yeah, is, so our skid steers were, were designed and engineered after tier four final. So all of the after treatment stuff that you see that's really clogging up engine compartments was all thought of at the beginning of the process here. So the one you're looking at here, it's DOC only, so there's nothing to burn. Uh, there's no def to add on this one because it's 74 and a half horsepower, but look how clean and simple this is. I mean, you know, Stan, from you know, running that. skid steers, you gotta clean them out, you gotta work on them yourself. It's uh, the easier we can That's make it for you to work on your That's the most open cab I've ever seen. All right, so. And up in your neck of the woods, Stan, I mean, I got enough room for a second battery in there. There's a, there's a two battery option on the uh, large frame series. There is? For cold start, yep. Really? You can put two there, you, you get a second rack in there. What the hell? All right, so that's... All right, They're, they've come a long way, guys. I mean, I started with these guys back when it was just trench packers. That was uh, one piece of equipment that I bought over and over again. I have not ran or owned any of the Wacker, whatever last name pronunciation. Noisen, Wacker Noisen. Noisen. <laughs> Yet. So you guys that have ran it, comment down below. Tell us how they are and everybody else watching. Look down below and see what people are saying about them. All right, let's go check out some more new cool tools and innovations, you guys. And that's cool to the touch, right? Yeah. This is for flush trim application, get in tight. Leaves about an eighth of an inch above the concrete. Exposed. All right. Hey, how heavy of a slab can that lift? This is rated for 4,700 pounds. 4,700 pounds, pure vacuum. Pure vacuum, right? 2,700 pounds, vacuum. 30 inches of vacuum. Vacuum? Yes, sir. Put it on the front of any machine there. Any right? implement, uh, standalone. You can use the implements of hydraulics. For this unit, it runs off of a battery powered vacuum pump. Okay, so you can hook it up to existing hydraulics or this one. This one is a standalone unit. So this one runs off from a battery to operate it. This one runs off the existing hydraulics for the equipment. This is called VacuWorks, right? VacuWorks, Tulsa, Oklahoma. VacuWorks.com. This is a air tow trailer. But this thing will go flat to the ground, right? Yes, it will. So you don't have to uh, tilt deck load it or bring out ramps. No, uh, it's very safe. It's level loading. you guys long video tons of stuff to cover big thanks goes out to Makita for helping make this video happen also if you guys are into power tools hand tools and other gear and equipment go over and check out the other video 
uh, in this series because you're going to see a lot of that over there. God bless you guys. Go get them and check out these two videos right here.